So welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report. When you're watching this, I'm actually most likely going to be on the road. I'm leaving for Los Angeles in about a week, so I'm taping this show ahead of time for the TDD Weekly Report for the week ending. That would be October 15th. And this is going to be an interview show. This is as a result of a chat I was in the other night, and I have with me the owner of the longest running independent vlogging site and it's more than just a vlogging site it's uh, way better than what YouTube has. It has uh, blogs, it has videos, it has audio, you can post pictures so it's pretty much an all-encompassing social site and uh, we have a lot of people that are into science, science fiction, gaming, and all kinds of geeks on this site so um, besides being one of the longest running independent sites it's probably one of the best for us uh, science geeks and stuff like that. And this is Gamer Glow that has joined me. Hi, Glow. Hey, Chuck. And this started as a result of a chat that we had where we were debating about um, what a vlog actually is and who was the run the longest running person that had done a vlog. And what did you say in the chat there? You uh, said you had your idea? Yeah, I thought um, Andy Rooney was the longest uh, vlogger because uh, he did those reports at the end of 60 minutes and it was it was more than just a commentary uh, it, you know it was um, it, it's typically what you would think of a, of a, of a uh, typical vlog that we would be used to seeing on on like YouTube or on your TV and um, and so I thought that Andy Rooney was the longest all-time vlogger and then I get to thinking about it to but Chuck, myself. But yeah. Chuck, had a, Chuck had a different thought. <laughs> well, I, I, I put it in a little box because I was used to just starting. I only started vlogging when I went on the web. I didn't ever make any uh, videotapes or anything like that for uh, family purposes. Other members of my family did. But I had it in this little narrow box until I started looking at definitions of what a vlog is. And because it started, first it started with blogs which were web logs that people had back in the days. Some of you may not remember, but there were days where we didn't have the bandwidth to hope to do video, so we just posted stuff in text. So that was called blog for web log, which it's kind of weird that they would use the B, but you know that's the way they did it. And then later on, when the bandwidth increased, we could actually make video logs. And I was thinking about it technically, what does it take to really call it a vlog? Or in the case of us motorcyclists, we actually have even enhanced the word a little bit and we call it moto vlogs because we're on our motorcycle while it's happening. But what does it take to actually call? And, and we want you to join in with your comments as part of the viewership that uh, we want you guys to express what's your opinion of what it takes to call something a vlog. And uh, uh, also there was a third person this morning that jumped in on the conversation, a friend of mine, Phil Mindwipe, who's a mu musician. We also feature some musicians on the air TV, and he was talking about the fact, along with me, that you could even make videotapes uh, for family history purposes, put them up on the shelf, and that would technically be a vlog, because it's a video log. Yeah, that's, so So I was thinking the other night when I was watching Andy Rooney do his last, his last show, that uh, uh, there goes uh, one of the world's best bloggers, a uh, person who did his uh, web video logs. And it was on TV, but doesn't necessarily mean doesn't have to be on the internet. And I, and I bet you that those reports are available on the internet on, at CBS. So yeah, I would say I, I, I would think that Andy Rooney was the longest running vlogger of all time. Yeah, the oldest, so, longest-running combination vlogger of all time. And I, I'd like to hear if anybody else has any ideas or anybody you know of that you would consider longer-running as far as just uh, doing little video logs of, uh, you know, whatever on a weekly basis with 60 Minutes like Andy Rooney. Can you think of anybody else? I mean, would you even consider it like I did? did, did will some people consider it back in the times of film, maybe people that did film commentaries? You had a lot of times when I first uh, was watching movies as a kid you would have stuff like that in between movies if you would go to a double or triple feature that's totally gone nowadays and I don't even know the last time my movie theater even had such a thing as a double or triple feature but in between you would have things like newsreels, cartoons, uh, just all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't normally see in movie theaters anymore. Would you consider somebody that did it uh, on film stock? Because it's interesting because us vloggers a lot of times we'll say with our cameras we'll say we're filming something even though there's no film involved, we still have that running in our heads, the fact of 
people used to use 8mm film or in some cases 16mm film to film family events and holidays. So I don't know, would you consider, what yeah. do you think about that? Would you consider film, especially the fact nowadays when somebody has a family film, what's the first thing they do? Transfer it to video. Then it becomes a vlog, doesn't it? Exactly. So uh, I would say that um, anybody that sits in front of the camera and talks, and, and you notice that Andy Rooney just sat at his desk. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. You know, it wasn't uh, the, like the news background. He was in his office and in his desk, talking to the camera, yeah. talking to the viewer, and that's exactly what a vlogger does. He talks to. The, he sits and looks at the camera and talks to the viewer, and. Uh, like I say, I consider I consider uh, Andy Rooney the longest running blogger, yeah. probably the best. And join in with your thoughts on the comments, or by all means, make a video and post it. Uh, I will uh, I'll post it underneath in the description, underneath the description there where you have the video replies. I'll post it on. Um, I, w I would glad you know I always want one audience participation, and also would like to give this chance for Glow to talk a little bit about on the air TV how it started and everything like that. On the Air TV, as a matter of fact, is the home of TDD, which originally was called the Dumpster Divers. Uh, this was the first website that actually offered a home for my TDD report. So even though it is on YouTube and a few other places around, the home spot and a lot of times extra material that I put up, especially midweek reports and stuff like that once in a while, a lot of them are only for On the Air TV. So, Glow, tell us a little bit of history about OnTheAirTV.com. Well, OnTheAirTV.com started about a little over four years ago, and um, we were looking at uh, an alternative to uh, another website that most of us were all members of at the time that was on a steady decline and is still on that same steady decline. And we offered this as an alternative to, to, to that as a place for folks to do their blogs and so forth, a, a safe place where... You don't have a lot of drama and people calling people names and all this stuff. And uh, there's a small core group of people that have come over to On Your TV and have provided excellent co excellent content. I would say that, that the uh, the best of the people uh, that were doing vlogs and stuff on this other side came to On Your TV and are still here after four years. So um, On Your TV, we don't have a large membership. Uh, we're, down, we're just above 60 some members right now because we've kept the uh, riffraff out basically and, um, and the spammers and so forth and uh, we kept it true to the founding of the site and uh, you know if you're interested in doing vlogs and, or contributing your talent then on your TV is the place for you to showcase your your uh, your work and it does get noticed and it does get viewed and uh, like I say we've been going good for four over four years and uh, I'm pretty proud of not only the work that I've done but uh, the folks that have s s s uh, kept going along the way and kept providing good content uh, actually I enjoy watching videos that on the air TV more than going to YouTube or anywhere else because the, the content's just that good. You know, like the TDD report, like uh, Philip Morris's Mind Wipes uh, music, and uh, and Navy Thomas Eight has joined our crowd, and we got Larry the Lookout that pops in every now and then. So there's there's uh, there's uh, a, a good group of people that are providing excellent content, and it's a nice social site. I mean, by default, on the air TV is a social, uh, just like Facebook or any other social site. And uh, we've all made friends. We've all met up. Yeah. Uh, we had a big meeting here in Baltimore where I met Chuck and 54 Shadow and Maddie. And, you know, we all get together every now and then. We have, uh, we have a video chat room that uh, I have Super Bowl Sunday in there. And we're all sitting in there and everybody pops in and... So, yeah, on the air TV, 
It's been going on for over four years. And by fully independent, it is totally run and controlled by Gamer Glow. There's nobody else makes the decisions and nobody else makes the call. And the one thing I like about the site, you can have it turned on and running and you can have your family around and there's nothing that's going to shock you or anything like that. Glow keeps a tight rein on it, make sure it's family friendly, make sure people don't devolve into name calling and things like that. So um, I really like the fact that she has complete control on it. It's completely on its own independent web server. This is not like a Ning site or something like that. It is completely, totally independent and completely run by Gamer Glow. So that's one thing I really like about the site. And if you get a chance, we're not asking you to leave any other place you're at or anything like that. Um, nobody ever asks you to do that. But if you'd like to stop in and give it a try or just stop in and look. I mean, it's an open site. Nothing's locked down. You can stop by and even just watch if you want to on yourtv.com. So, um, blatant plug for a site that supported me for all these many years and everything like that. But uh, I don't mind doing it at all for friends. And uh, thanks a lot, Glow, for joining me for this week's TDD Weekly Report. Because this helps a lot as I'm on the road traveling. We have a report out there and some information to share with our friends. Oh, my pleasure, Chuck. And I will catch you guys next week and watch for my videos on the road between Los Angeles and Chicago.